second class. Hi guys, welcome back to another video on Arduino project. In today's video, we'll be not learning about any new sensor. Instead, we will be making an Arduino project based on things we have learned in our previous video tutorials. So we will be combining different concepts here. So before watching this video, you have to watch our tutorials on DHT, temperature sensor, motor driver, PWM and HC05 Bluetooth module. For this project, we will be combining two projects. The first one is automatic fan speed control based on the room temperature. So as the temperature from the DHT varies, the fan speed also automatically gets changes. And coming to the second one is controlling the fan speed using your smartphone and Bluetooth module. So if you want to check out this separate tutorials, you can get both the links in the description box. In this project, we'll be combining both of this and we'll be adding a main master switch called mode switch. So you can easily toggle the switch based on your requirement to control the fan speed automatically based on the DHT sensor or to control the fan manually using your smartphone. For this tutorial, you need an Arduino board, Bluetooth module, DHT temperature sensor, L293D motor driver with enable pin, 16 cross to LCD module with I2C interface, toggle switch. Twelve volt CPU fan or a DC motor, breadboard, and some jumper wires. For the connections, you can visit the link given in the description box. So in the coding part, I'll be not writing the code showing all the lines since I have already made a separate line to line code tutorials for these concepts. I'll just go through what are the things each section of this code does. So here we have included all the necessary header files. DHT pin is connected to digital pin 2. Here it is to give the type of LCD 16 cross 2. So first here we have declared input 1, input 2 and enable 1 pin these are for motor driver and mode switch so this is a toggle switch connected to digital pin 7 so this will be deciding whether the fan will work on automatic or manual mode and we have declared some variables so use it later to receive the data inside the setup this is to begin the serial communication and later we have uh, initialized the LCD and in the pin mode all three motor driver pins will be output and the switch the mode switch will be input so using digital read will be reading the pin state of digital pin 7 that is mode switch and the data will be received to mode so based on the mode whether it is high or low so this is the master condition which will decide the mode so if the mode is high that means switch is high it comes to this loop where it is manual mode since it's manual mode we'll be using a smartphone to control the speed of the fan so here also we have added lcd functions to show the mode so if you want to understand each and every part every components used here you can go through our separate tutorial videos so we'll provide all the links in the description then we are reading if there is any data in the serial buffer if there is data it is stored here and we'll start comparing the data 
and the character that we have set in the application so if data equal to c the fan will be off and we are making both the control pins to low if data is d then fan will rotate in low speed since the pwm value is 100 and similarly for next character e we are making the pwm value to 255 it means the fan rotates in high speed so this is all about the manual mode and if the mode is low then it skips the first part manual mode and it directly jumps to this loop which is automatic mode so here we'll be reading the temperature from the dhd sensor and based on that controlling the speed so we have some lines of code to read the dhd temperature and based on that temperature we have added if else statement here if temperature is less than 28 then 0 if temperature in, is between this range then the pwm value is 100 and for temperature greater than 30 it will be rotating in maximum speed so here pwm value is 255 so just we have added three speeds here according to a requirement you can modify here and add more if else statements if you want more range similarly here also in the manual mode you can add more characters so that's it the code we'll upload and see the results first i'll connect the 12 volt power supply to the motor driver which is required for the 12 volt cpu fan also i'll pair the bluetooth with the smartphone and also for the app configuration you can refer to our previous bluetooth tutorial on the lcd we can see it's in manual mode so i can control the speed using the smartphone now it's in low speed and high The same thing is also displayed on the screen and this is for off. Now using the master switch we will change it to the automatic mode. So on the screen you can see the mode is changed to auto and also there is a temperature displayed which is from the DHT sensor. So as per our logic if it's greater than 28 then the fan will rotate in a slower speed so we'll try to increase the temperature now the temperature is 29 so it started rotating And again it is decreased to 28 so the fan stopped so this is the auto mode if you want again the manual mode you can easily control it through your smartphone this was all about this project so using this concept you can make a lot of projects with different sensors and interfaces the complete source for this project is given in the description if you have any doubts just leave a comment below subscribe for more audio tutorials thank you for watching and i'll be back in another interesting tutorial